Hey guys, Jackal here again. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season and I hope you have a great new year. This time I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. I'm going to be doing a product review video of this I just got for Christmas from Portal 2 Repulsion Gel. Any of you Portal fans out there will love this. It's um, one, of the th one of three interactive gels that you can use in the video game Portal 2. It's really cool. I bought it from ThinkGeek.com. They have a lot of cool stuff on that website. I suggest you check it out. I'll leave the link down below. The case, as you clearly see in the front, says Repulsion Gel. And if you look closely, I'm sorry there's no focus. I'm using a flip cam right now. It says Aperture Science Innovators, which is the 50s logo for Aperture Science, the company in the video game. And in small letters here, you can see Salt Asbestos Curtains. Like I said, you can't really tell because of the quality. Here you have Portal 2 written on the side, as, along with this wonderful little wraparound wrapper. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. On the back, if you can't read, it says, Discover Aperture Laboratories Portal Gel. It's the perfect desk toy, stress toy, and stress reliever. Become the most popular test subject at your office or school by stretching, squeezing, bouncing, and amazing all your friends. In blue here, it's written that inert, non-toxic, and safe. Portal gel contains no latex, glutex, wheat, compounds, or whatever that word is. Whatever that word is. It is safe to use for people with sensitivity to wheat or latex and will not promote the development of wheat allergies. Hmm, that's good to know. Now let's get to opening this thing. Now when you first open it, it's not going to look like this because I've been playing around with it clearly. But when you first open this, it's going to... It may not come out perfect like this. Like when I first opened it, half of it was stuck on the this side of the plate. But, you know, it doesn't really affect it. It doesn't leave any residue whatsoever. If you're familiar with Silly Putty, it's kind of that same characteristic. You know, it's stretchy and, you know, Silly Putty-like stuff. You get a whole tin full of this, like, that thick. You can take the entire thing out if you want. I just don't feel like doing it right now. It's pretty stretchy. So you can even tear it if you want. You just gotta use your fingernails and just go... See? Clean cut. This thing's even pretty bouncy when you look at it. Like, this thing can even bounce really high. Aperture Science Bounce Test number one. Go. Well, when you simply drop it, it will probably just bounce a little and roll on the floor like that. When you throw it down hard, it bounces even more. Go figure. It's not the bounciest thing in the world, and I'm sorry for your Portal fans, but it doesn't really make objects, you know, bounceable. But you know, it's, pretty, it's, a, it's still a pretty good toy. Um, apparently, you can shatter this by hitting it with a hammer. And there are videos of it online that show people smashing it with a hammer. I haven't gotten it to work yet because all my other tests of smashing this thing have been... One, two, three. God damn it. <clears throat> well, they have been kind of failures. But I'm pretty sure I'm wrong or I'm doing something wrong or I'm not hitting it hard enough. Who knows? If you have something like this and you know what I'm talking about or you know what I'm doing wrong, feel free to comment below or maybe leave a video response of what I'm doing. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a cool toy. It bounces, it stretches, it tears. It's silly putty, but with a cooler name, an aperture name. Anyway. This has been it for Jekyll's first product review video. I hope to make more in the future. And if you want to get one of these, you can get them at thinkgeek.com. This is one of three tins. There's repulsion gel, which is blue, propulsion gel, which is orange, or conversion gel, which is white. All available at thinkgeek.com or whatever else they sell this stuff. So, as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's Eve and, you know, I'll see you guys later. This is Jekyll.